Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 31 through 35, where it is written, To what then will I compare the people of this generation, and what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We play the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, wailed, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say, he has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. What's the Lord talking about? His society was very much stratified. The good, religious, clean people, and the non-religious or selectively religious, yeah, dirty people. If you're of a higher social standing, you would never, ever, ever associate with someone of a lower standing. Because their sinfulness, their ugh, would rub off on you, like, ew. So you keep yourself clean, your nose this high, so you weren't even breathing their air, because yuck. This is rooted in something in the Jewish law that they had allowed uh, rules regarding ritual cleanliness. If something ritually unclean touched you, a clean person, you would be made unclean. But Jesus, we see, does the opposite. He sits down to the prostitutes, drunks, and tax collectors, unclean people, and Jesus is clean. But when they have contact with Jesus, Jesus is not made unclean. Rather, they are the unclean people are made clean. Now imagine in the modern day, I sat down, we have known prostitutes, homeless people, people that do the drug and alcohol use camp, you know, they're in the situation. People that are terrorists or whatever. I might not have a job as pastor here for very long. But still, that's where Jesus went to. For he truly shows that his love is love unrelenting. Psalm 23 says, The goodness and mercy of the Lord will follow me all the days of my life. Follow is too weak a word. In Hebrew, it means chase. Now you're chasing someone. That's your target. You've got to get them. And you're running after them. And they're running, and you're running even faster. They're hiding, and you're turning over every rock. That's what it means the love and mercy of God will pursue you. And that's Jesus' love and mercy. These people have gotten themselves in some very dark, bad places. Yet his love unrelenting comes to pursue them. And the comfort for us is that unrelenting love is pursuing us in our own faults, in our own errors, in our own sins, in our own hypocrisies. His love is unrelenting, he's chasing us. So any time we turn back to him, have no doubt he takes us back. And as for the people beneath us, known prostitutes, drunks, people that because of that are on the streets, we let them know God loves them too. The same Jesus that we rely on for our life, they can rely on for their life. And therefore, we have no right to stick up our noses at them. For are they not loved by Christ as we are? Exactly. They are loved by God. And we all let them, we are supposed to let them know that. Now, that being said, let us close with prayer. Lord, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your unrelenting love which chases us. And we may, may we never look down upon others. For you love them with that same everlasting love. Amen.